Peru, Japan, and he will be presenting the study Cabbage, still preferred over PCI, in patients with triple vessel disease, observations from the Credo Kyoto PCI Cabbage Registry Cohort 2. Dr. Xiaomi. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Chairman. Um, in today's hotline session, I will report the result of Credo Kyoto PCI Cabbage Registry Cohort 2. And the topic of my presentation is a comparison of three-year outcome after PCI and CABG, stratified by the syntax score in patients with triple vessel disease, sub, uh, triple vessel disease. Uh, As you know, PCI has been widely performed for severe coronary disease, such as left main coronary disease or triple vessel disease. However, long-term clinical outcome of PCI relative to CABG has not been adequately evaluated yet. Recently, three-year results from syntax randomized trial suggested that excess risk of PCI relative to uh, CABG was significant uh, in terms of all-cause deaths and the composite of uh, all-cause deaths, myocardial infarction, and stroke in triple vessel disease subset. And uh, they also reported uh, different clinical outcome according to the severity of coronary anatomy represented by the syntax score. However, the major limitation of this observation from syntax randomized trial was apparent lack of statistical power in evaluating hard endpoint. So we conduct the current analysis to evaluate long-term clinical outcome of PCI relative to CABZ in patients with triple vessel disease in real-world clinical practice. This slide shows the study flow chart. A credo cohort PCI-CABG registry cohort 2 is a large-scale cohort in which 26 Japanese centers participated and enrolled consecutive more than 15,000 patients who underwent first coronary vascularization during 2005 and 2007 after approval of drug eluting stain in Japan. We excluded uh, acute myocardial infarction patients patients with single or double vessel disease, and those with left main coronary artery disease. So the study population of the current analysis consisted of 2,981 patients with triple vessel disease, in which 1,825 received PCI, and 1,156 underwent CABG surgery. And uh, uh, the, the primary outcome measure of the current analysis was a composite of all cause deaths, myocardial infarction, and stroke up to three years. And furthermore, we calculate the syntax score in 94.3% of the study population and perform stratified analysis by the syntax score to overcome the limitation regarding the comparability between PCI and CABZ about severity of coronary anatomy in an observational study. Uh, as it is shown here, PCI was significantly associated with higher risk for a primary outcome measure, that is the composite of all cause deaths, myocardial infarction, and stroke up to three years. And its adjusted hazard ratio was 1.47. Regarding survival outcome, there was, uh, PCI was also significantly associated with higher risk for all-cause deaths. Although cumulative incidence of cardiac deaths was not different between the three main groups uh, up to three years. About myocardial infarction, the protective effect of CABZ relative to PCI for myocardial infarction was remarkable. And uh, for strokes, there was no significant difference between the treatment groups. Regarding the stratified analysis by the syntax score, in, in the crude analysis, the cumulative incidence of a composite of all cause deaths, myocardial infarction, and stroke was not different between PCI and CABG in patients with low or intermediate syntax score. While in patients with high syntax score, it is markedly higher after PCI compared with CABZ. However, after adjusting by potential confounding factors, PCI was significantly associated with higher risk for a primary outcome measure, even in patients with low syntax score. Uh, in patients with high syntax score, 
Although it is not statistically significant, the superiority of uh, CABG relative to PCI was apparent. So, in conclusion, CABG surgery would still remain the standard treatment option in patients with triple vessel disease, particularly when their syntax scores are high. Due to the discrepancy between the results in our study and uh, the in the syntax randomized trial, selection of a revascularization strategy in triple vessel disease patients with less complex coronary anatomy deserves further consideration. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much to Dr. Shiomi, and uh, now it's open for questions. Any question to Dr. Shiomi? Yes, please, madam. Medical Tribune Japan. Uh, I want to, uh, uh, for your uh, credo code cohort one, uh, you mentioned that under the 75 years old, a PCI and the CPG are almost the same. And this time, you put uh, some uh, new uh, new topics. And then, uh, how do you uh, uh, show how to uh, decide in practice? Sorry. Yes. Um, also, uh, I I will not report the. Uh, stratified and result of the stratified analysis by age. However, uh, inconsistent with our previous reports, um, under uh, inpatient with under 75 years old, uh, the clinical, uh, the primary outcome, uh, the primary outcome measure of the current analysis was not different between the PCI and CABZ. But uh, uh, this is a uh, um, Observational studies. So, uh, why why we divided the patient into two groups according uh, age in our previous trial cohort one study is uh, uh, when when we when we select the uh, revascularization strategy in daily clinical practice, uh, age was uh, age is a very important point and. Uh, um, in patient with uh, in patient with um, seven, more than 75 years old, uh, they they generally speaking they have a, uh, they tend to have a, uh, more comorbidity and uh, and that is a uh, we we cannot uh, uh, exclude that we cannot exclude this um, this influence by by the uh, result of in the observational study. So um, I divided into uh, into the two groups of the patient in cohort one study. Please. Uh, what were the stroke rates in the two arms? Stroke rate? Uh, stroke rate. Oh, uh, I see. OK. Uh, Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I didn't catch that. And um, wouldn't you have expected that PCI would have performed best uh, or have its best relative to cabbage in the low syntax score subgroup? Yes, uh, this is the uh, most important thing in, in our trial. And, uh, uh, but uh, uh, I, I couldn't conclude uh, this topic because uh, our adjusted analysis suggested that um, uh, PCI was uh, PCI was significantly associated with uh, higher higher risk for a composite endpoint hard endpoint um, up to three years even in patients with low syntax score. However, um, one one potential uh, explanation about the discrepancy between the or resulting uh, or result and uh, that in the syntax random trial is. Uh, Different study population, different different characteristic of the study population. Uh, that is, uh, the study population in our study represented a high risk group in triple vessel disease. Uh, for example, uh, average of age was average age was uh, about 17 in our study, uh, while it was. Uh, uh, 60, around 65 in syntax randomized trial, and uh, furthermore, the prevalence of heart failure and stroke, prior stroke, was markedly higher um, in, in, the, uh, in our study compared with 
syntax around the mitral area. So you're saying that even though they came out to be the lowest risk tertile uh, on an absolute basis, they were actually a relatively high risk group. So yes, uh, so the feasibility of PCI in patients with relatively complex coronary anatomy was a uh, deserves further consideration, uh, such as uh, such as the randomization, like uh, Excel trial for left main coronary artery disease. Please. Currently going. Yes. Um, first, let me congratulate you on a large-scale, physician-initiated, non-company-sponsored trial. Thanks. It's very refreshing in PCI to see that. Um, Question on the high syntax score. I think this is my ignorance. You'll excuse me, but a high syntax score does not correlate with a high risk of surgery as well. Yes, but uh, uh, and, and, and then just confirming that. Um, but uh, now you're recommending surgery then for a group that technically would be rated at a high risk, and therefore yes, yes, ideal yes. for PCI. Yes, yes, yes. Can you comment? Uh -huh. Um, the, the clinical outcome according to the syntax titles in the CABG group, clinical outcome was not affected by the uh, syntax, syntax title. And uh, uh, in patients with high syntax score, as I mentioned before, uh, PCI was significantly associated with higher risk for a hard endpoint. So, I, and uh, this is a uh, consistent with syntax randomized trials, so I think this is almost, almost all con conclusive. So uh, the use of PCI in patients with high syntax score should be, disca should be discouraged unless the uh, uh, operative risk was prohibitively high. There is a question here on the side. Uh, Shelley Wood, again from the heart.org. I tried to look this up because I can't keep it in my head, but as far as I recall, the um, ACC AHA guidelines made no specific recommendations on three-vessel disease, and the uh, ESC guidelines last year gave it a, uh, I think, class 2A. Two two a. A. Yeah, 2A. Uh, two two a. A. Uh, yeah. So w based on these findings, do you think that should be revisited and, and rather the recommendations for lower risk uh, mm -hmm. triple-vessel disease patients should actually be um, mm. the recommendation should be for surgery? Um, yes. Uh, inconsistent with the uh, result of, of uh, uh, result in the syntax randomized trials, um, uh, our trial results, results suggested that um, clinical outcome of PCI uh, is not necessarily uh, comparable of CABZ, even in patients with um, even in patients with low syntax score, so uh, further investigation is needed, I think. Last question, please. Could you, could you comment on, on why PCI might be associated with higher all-cause death but not cardiac death? Do you mind to identify yourself, please? Uh, Kim Dalton, TCTMD. Uh, the reason why the discrepancy of the uh, all -cause, result of all-cause death and cardiac death? Ah, yes, um, uh, this suggests the uh, uh, existence of the uh, selection bias or uh, influence of the selection bias or uh, unmeasured confounding factor in, our, in an observational study, I think. And could you offer any comment on, on what factors might go into decision about whether to form PCI for uh, low syntax risk patients? Uh, factor. I'm sorry. Could you rephrase the question, please? With uh, low syntax yes. score Hi. patients, uh, what decision? What factors might go into decision to perform PCI for them? Mm. Uh, this is a tough question because uh, our, our results suggested that uh, even in patient with low syntax score. Um, uh, uh, superiority of the CABZ was significant. But in daily clinical practice, um, when, when we uh, select the reverse colorization strategies, uh, the patient com comorbidity or patient status, uh, general status is uh, very important. So uh, I think that is an um, important thing. 
Well, thank you very much, Dr. Shiomi, and uh, with this, we reached the end of this press conference. Thank you very much for.